It had been nearly six years since we had spent time together, just the three of us, as brothers. We were not supposed to get out of Jersey. We loved music growing up. Dad was the pastor of a church. As a child, like, it was just always around us. We had a really tight-knit family, and we became each other's best friends. We started to write on our own. Overnight, we're a band. We're doing it. We're living our dream. Things began to shift in the church that became really challenging. Our dad leaves the church. I think in the same month, the label dropped us. We really were struggling, and we were playing roulette, you know, on the boys. And we got a phone call from Disney. We're gonna hand you a record deal. And it was just nonstop from there. We had no idea how big the band was getting. In one week, they had three albums in the top 10 sell through Madison Square Garden three nights in a row. A gold record in a week. I started to become aware of how much better I wanted to become. You're like, let's take a pause and take a break. Nick says, the Jonas Brothers should be no more. What hurt the most is that it came from Nick. He is my best friend. There were moments I thought, they'll never speak to me again. I love my brothers to death. I think that the brothers had to grow apart to be able to get perspective. I found that success isn't always tied to fame and fortune. Everything's amazing. I really want to have a second chance with them. I'd rather we be brothers and, and not have our band dictate our relationship. Once we got past the emotional sting of it, we actually had a better relationship. <laughs> it wasn't about the money. It wasn't about the fame. It was, hey, brothers, you want to do something awesome again together? We spent the last year traveling the world and really reconnecting. This makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs>